So we just got the latest patch and alongside that our newest card, which is Mockingbird. And everybody knows where this card is going. This card is definitely gonna shine when it comes to a Thanos list because she will cost one less for each card in play that didn't start in your deck. And this definitely worked with all of the Infinity Stones. You can essentially make her a 0-9, but even if you have her at a 4-9 or a 3-9, that's pretty good value. But let's be real. A lot of the time, she's going to be a 2-9, a 1-9, as long as your opponent is not running a Killmonger and gets rid of your cards. So let's talk about the Thanos deck that I'm running with has been performing exceptionally well, putting out a lot of power. Thanos is one of the best decks in the game already. And of course, we get a new card and that's where it's going. Now we should mention before we jump in the list that yes, in today's patch, Thanos did receive yet another nerf. And this one's pretty significant. It's that the time song will no longer give you that beloved plus one energy the following turn. Instead, you're still going to draw a card and that card is going to cost one less. So quite a big hit because Thanos is always trying to ramp out early, cheat out those five or six drops. So it's definitely significant, but it doesn't matter. Thanos always finds a way to land on top. Nerf those stones, nerf log jaw all you want. We're gonna find a way. And I gotta say, Mockingbird is definitely helping Thanos stay on top. So this is the Thanos list that I'm running with Mockingbird. I actually haven't lost with this version of the deck yet on ladder, but for some reason I have not ran into another Thanos player, no mirror matches. So keep that in mind. That probably has a lot to do with that stat. Now we've talked about Thanos to death. Everybody knows Thanos. Most of the lists are very, very similar. So we're just gonna gloss through this real quickly and then we're gonna let the gameplay footage speak for itself. Now, originally I was not gonna run Psylocke, but I did not know the change of the time song was coming. And with that change happening, I definitely think Psylocke makes the cut. She just gives you a lot of options to ramp out. You can play her on two and then play your Hope Summers and another Infinity Stone on turn three or play her out and cheat out a five or a six drop early if you want. Just, just pretty viable, I think, considering what happened to Time Stone. We're running the Jeff. We have Professor X in the list, so you can move him in or out of lanes depending on the power. We've got the Hope Summer just helping you generate more and more stats. Very easy to do with those stones. And then again, you want to have your stones out on the board because of Mockingbird. We're running our one tech card, which is Shang-Chi. The cool thing to do though, is that if you can get Mockingbird down to a two or less cost, you can actually play Shang-Chi and a nine powered card on the final turn. Pretty good move, gotta say. Now, obviously we are running Cole Obsidian. He is just a great stat line at 410. And because we have all the Infinity Stones, it's usually not an issue putting him into any lane that we want. We got the Professor X. I like having him. There's just so many times that you can lock a lane down, make it yours, and then all you have to do is win one other lane, which is why we do have the Eliath now in the list, which we will talk about in a minute. We've got the Vision, just another good stat line, but an also a flexible card, being able to move things around. Now, we are finally on to Mockingbird 5-9. Not a shangable target. And it's not really a 5-9 now, is it? Most of my games, I get her down to a 2-9 pretty easily. You'll see in some of the matches, even got her for free, been able to play her out alongside a blob on the final turn for 26 power. Yeah, pretty freaking good. Now we are running the blob just because if we're trying to lock down a lane with Professor X or what have you, a lot of times there may just be a lane that you're losing and Blob can just win it on his own. At minimum, he's gonna be 15 power as long as you have the cards and the stats still left in your deck. But sometimes he gets even bigger than that. I like to have him in there just to slam him down. We're running the Eliath. It's not too often that we don't have priority going into the final turn, especially if we've got an early Mockingbird down on the board and Eliath just kind of shuts down your opponent's final play. We have Thanos in here, obviously. Every once in a while, you can get him up to 20 power, but we're rarely ever really playing him. And then finally, we are running Magneto, another good stat line, but having the ability to move your opponent's cards around, especially when you're playing against a discard list, or if you're able to get him out on turn five and lock one of your opponent's lanes up, just really good to have him in the list. So as always, gang, y'all be good, y'all be safe. I will catch y'all on the next one. Do me that favor, click that like button, helps promote the channel. If you're not subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate you considering it, and I'll see you in the next one. Well, we're going to have an insanely cheap Mockingbird, and we're probably going to make multiple 
mockingbirds, you know? Playing against a, a destroy deck though. I think. I think. Yeah. So the stones aren't gonna stay out, unfortunately. What a game. So cloning vats is really good for them. Any chance that I get priority? Nah, no, nah, no chance. I guess we can do this and this. He doesn't play into the cloning vats. Interesting. I think Tarnax is probably good for us. All right, how much energy are we gonna have next turn? Oh. Surely he's gonna, he's gonna this, right? Well, he did. Oh, but we, we're, we're gonna get there anyways. So now, even if he wants to play a null, it's gonna change. Now the death, it's gonna get us. Because that value will unfortunately stay the same. So if, if I do this and this, this becomes a one, we don't want to do that. Essentially we can play Mockingbird and something else for free. Unless this is a kill monster. Uh... Oh, well. Yeah, so I knew that was going to stay the death. It's a little unfortunate. So, what do we do here? Do we just gamble that he can't beat this? This is at least 23 power. I I think we go here. We just stack it all up in the middle. I didn't realize he had two of those. That's my bad. But I think we might have got there anyways. Yes, we did. I, I, I panicked for a second. But, you know... 26 powers is pretty good on the final turn. All right, we got the, the tracker fixed. Thank goodness. I was a little, I was a little concerned. Live from the Daily Bugle. Now I wonder of mine what they got. Ravona could help our, well that is something because they're definitely playing their Ravana here probably see a snap come in ah yeah yeah I'm with you there buddy I'm there with you So we do get the Mockingbird down to two next turn. Don't think we want to show it yet. I think we want to play that Call Obsidian. All 
All right, so he's gambling that Citadel's gonna move it over there. I don't blame you. Now we got the Eliath. We got the Eliath. I wish we could get the Vision and the Mockingbird out next turn. We'll have to see see what we draw. Oh. Okay. Well, we got lucky. They're not getting they're not getting any of it. I want to make sure we have priority going into the final turn. We could actually play it like mocking Chang Chi, but it's probably going to be the alive play. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Well, well, well. I think this is enough. Obviously, we can't snap. But we're going to let it eat. Yeah. Sorry. Reality stone. Yeah, well, me either. It happens. 